Uh, let's move on and uh, the funeral will take place in Oman next week of a 16-year-old boy from the town who went missing nearly 40 years ago. Jared Slattery's parents both died without ever knowing what happened to him. Well, now it's emerged that remains found in an unmarked grave belong to Jared. His brother Paddy has been speaking to our reporter, Niall Donnelly. One Sunday evening in November 1973, 16-year-old Gerard Slattery left his home in O'Kane Park in Oma to go to Mass in the nearby Sacred Heart Church. His two sisters, Bernadette and Carol, were with him. They stopped to get sweets. Gerard said he would go on to the church. But when Mass was over, Gerard's sisters realised he was not with them and the alarm was raised. My mother and father got concerned and they contacted the police and reported him missing. So the police done their searches, their initial searches around Oma and asked people and stuff like that. But Gerard was never found. One of 12 children, his family have fond memories of the brother who never came home. Just happy-go-lucky boy, he just enjoyed life. He was an apprentice painter. He worked for a local painter here in Oma as an apprentice. And he went away and worked and then come home at the weekends. Just a young boy that was just trying to get on and start up a career of his own. About three months after Gerard went missing here in Oma, a decomposing body was found in the Burndennet River, about 20 miles away outside Straban. At the time, the police told Gerard's family that the clothes on that body were similar to those that he had been wearing. But despite that, it was never confirmed at the time that the remains belonged to Gerard. It was exactly what he was wearing, they said. But still, they couldn't give a positive ID? No, they couldn't give a positive ID. And what happened after that then, Paddy, in terms of, of that body? That body was taken and buried in a, a cemetery in Stavon and the, the pauper's grave, grave plot. The story might have ended there, but several years ago, Gerard's father, Jerry, told some of his children to try and find out once and for all if the body buried in Stravan might be Gerard's. In 2006, samples were taken from one set of remains, but DNA tests revealed the body was not Gerard's. Despite the obvious disappointment, the family kept going. They went to Straban and put up posters looking for information. They also managed to get in touch with former gravedigger William Stewart. He said he was convinced he had buried Gerard. In August 2010, permission was granted for another grave to be reopened and samples taken. This time, DNA testing proved the body found in the Burndevitt River all those years ago and quietly buried in Straban was 16-year-old Gerard Slattery. His family only received the final confirmation last Friday. It took a long time for them to come back, but we've got the answer now we want. And to get that confirmation that his body has been found, his remains have been found, Paddy, what does that mean to you and, and to all of your family? Absolutely fantastic. Sad, but absolutely fantastic. It's all over now after 40 years. And he's going to go now, he's going to be buried along with his mother and father, who we were never here to see the completion of it. It'll be brilliant. Gerard Slattery's Requiem Mass will take place at this church next Thursday, almost 39 years after he went missing on his way to it. Following Thursday's Requiem Mass, Gerard Slattery will be buried here in Greenhill Cemetery in Oma beside his mother and father. The family will then have achieved what Sadie and Jerry had always wanted, a Christian burial for Gerard and to be able to visit his grave. Niall Donnelly, UTV Live tonight, County Tyrone.